between 2nd of November 1899 and 7th of September 1901 became known as the Boxer Rebellion. This was a Chinese secret organisation called the Society of Righteousness and Harmonious Fists. They were an anti-foreign, anti-Christian group that led an uprising through northern China. They became known as the Boxers due to their skills with martial arts and physical performances. They believed these skills would make them withstand bullets, kill foreigners, Chinese Christians and destroy foreign property. They were attacking foreigners and Chinese Christians as they believed they would colonise and take over China. By some estimates, several hundred foreigners and several thousand Chinese Christians were killed during this. A positive step into the modern world of China or a negative step out of China's traditions. The rebellion had multiple negative effects on both the economy and community of China between 1899 and 1901. One of these was the mass murder of both foreigners and Christians in China. Source A provides a detailed description of the Boxer Rebellion from a foreigner perspective. Luella Minor describes firsthand her experiences and emotions during the Boxer Rebellion. This source is highly reliable as it was not only created during the time of the event, but it was written by a survivor. It shows not only that foreigners were forced to hide from execution by the Boxers, but also how isolated they were in Peking. I will argue that the creation of the Republic of China a century ago remains important to this day and had a major positive effect on China. Even though the Boxer Rebellion wasn't the main cause of the downfall of the Qing Dynasty, it was weakened by the Boxer Rebellion, which allowed the Chinese Revolution to take place, which overthrew China's last imperial dynasty. A bad monarchy is bad, particularly if they live for a long time. A string of bad monarchies is a disaster. China's Qing Dynasty had the most overseas contact. Boxer Rebellion caused the Qing Dynasty to weaken and 2,000 years of Chinese feudal monarchy to end as China became a republic in 1912. When the monarch ended, China's traditional culture and way of life was destroyed. In the past, this meant replacing the dynasty with another dynasty. Today, it means replacing a monarchy with our republic. Therefore, if the Boxer Rebellion hadn't overthrown the dynasty, then something else was bound to do it anyway. The Boxer Rebellion caused a lot of trauma not only throughout China, but for its allies as well. A war was declared on all foreign nations with diplomatic ties in China. China would have benefited greatly from becoming a republic, giving the people political authority, allowing them to give power to the government. Nationalism, democracy and people's welfare were promoted. The Boxer Rebellion weakening the dynasty potentially gave China's people a voice. Monarch has no place in a government. Although the Boxers took the extremist way out, the reason behind the Boxer Rebellion is similar to a number of situations today. For example, some people in Australia believe that migrants or foreigners, e.g. Muslims and refugees, should not be allowed in the country. This perspective is closely shared with the Boxers. The estimated death being close to 100,000 in just two years, this was because the Boxers were of the perspective that Christians and foreigners were trying to take over the country. Thus their radical hatred for them was born. Source B provides a detailed layout and areas of the Boxer Rebellion activity. This source is highly reliable as it was created purely for the purpose of the information about the landscapes and areas of activity by the Boxers. This source also provides no basis of the Boxer Rebellion, making Source B extremely useful towards our research because of its vast geological information. The Righteous and Harmonious aim to expel the unwanted influence of Western nations and believed it was a righteous cause. Therefore, the rebellion gained a lot of support from unemployed and poor Chinese men who believed Westerners were attempting to colonise and take over China, taking their goods, also their jobs. Source B provides a detailed image of the Gujian trial after the Boxer Rebellion had concluded. From a foreigner's perspective, the image displays firsthand the consequences for the Chinese who participated in the Boxer Rebellion against the foreigners and Christians. This source is highly reliable as it was taken at the same time as a conflict. In conclusion to our debate today of the Boxer Rebellion, it was filled with so much trauma and conflict that it was negative, but it China wouldn't be the way it is today without about the Boxer Rebellion causing it to be positive, so it is both.